All right, good afternoon, guys. What you are looking at is a tractor trailer fully loaded. And where you see Hulk and Big Flipper is where the guy came from, just behind us. Launched through the guardrail, took out the guardrail, which is all the way up front there. And we have the task of bringing it back up. I got Alex with me, did a quick walk around. Uh, let me show you what the front looks like. I did a quick walk around and I more or less have a game plan. What makes it difficult is, you see this right here, this little hill right here before it goes up, it's vertical right there. Everything's destroyed. The tractor, at least, oh, here's a guardrail, by the way. And you see right there to my right, this wall I'm talking about. I might use that to my advantage though. I'll let you in on my game plan. Once we bring it up to this point, my goal is to have the tires, the bottom ones catch right here. And we keep pulling until it goes over. So it's like resting over this. And then we re-rig our straps to do a straight vertical lift. Absolute crazy amount of power required and uh, precision. I'm a bit nervous on this one. They teach you in uh, rigging classes that whatever the load is, when you're at a hill and an incline, you add X percent, and then if it's on like dirt like this, um, you just keep adding multipliers. So we're gonna be pulling like 1.75 times what this actually weighs, is what a truck is gonna feel. But let me get up there and um, I guess we'll start bringing our rigging down. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like with our trucks parked right here. We're going to need Ricardo's help. He brought uh, our heavy wrecker up front. He's going to be able to control that tractor so the big iron can focus on this trailer right here. Now you can kind of get a scope of how far down it is. They said about 60 feet, but it looks closer to like 75 from what we're standing. Ready for the action, boss? VIP! VIP! This one's a good one, man. They brought you for a good one. It is. It's we'll a see. nice training day. We're beyond training. This is graduation, baby. Okay. Luckily, uh, we got a, a full lane. We rarely work with lane closures. But because they got to repair that guardrail, you see where that Caltrans worker's standing? I am filming this 100% on the iPhone 15 Pro Max in uh, Apple Pro Raw log. I am afraid that this comes out nice. Um, in video terms, there's tons of videos on it by now at this point of people, you know, matching it with their Sony FX30s and even an RE camera. But um, I'm really hoping that you can you guys get the full scope of it in log format, color graded to perfection. First step is to get that room all the way up and out. All right, I'll be shooting in wide format for this part just so you guys can get a scope of how much line we're gonna need. I'm close to full extension, close to 60 degrees. That way when I drop the boom down and over here, uh, we don't have to pull much cable. This phone, by the way, does that Apple Log Pro Res I was talking about in, uh, in every mode. Wide angle, zoom. In fact, let's test the, uh, the telephoto right now. This is a telephoto, which is supposed to be equivalent to a 5x optical zoom. Not bad for a phone, huh? And this is how far I really am. Let me get my rigging on here, and then we'll walk it down. And I just put the iPhone in the truck. It's supposed to be great at overheating uh, those issues, but I'll use that for the juicy stuff. For now, I got the DJI Action 4. Ugh. 
just so I can, uh, on a job like this, you want to record everything. Not just for my lovely YouTube base, but for billing and insurance purposes. Since the driver's not here, when you send the, they come to pick up their stuff, I don't want them, why so much, yada, yada, yada. Now this is the beauty of all the synthetic rigging I have. All I need for this job, for the first part anyways, is my 15 footers, Baileys. One high, one low. And I got my load soles on so we can measure the amount of force I'm pulling. Are you guys waiting for the next lane? Yes sir. Are you guys waiting for the next lane to close or? No. Oh, okay. We're starting already. Oh, okay. We're getting all our rigging set up. This amount of closure is perfect. Yeah. That's all we need. It's not a lane, so. Now nah, we'll keep traffic. It's already rush hour approaching three, two, whatever right. o'clock it is. I'm I'm fine with I'll this right here. I'm at full extension. <clears throat> You've seen better days, I bet, huh? Ah. All right, watch your step. Ah. Just hold on to the snatch block to assist me so I don't eat dirt literally. Boom down, I just hold this. Whoa. Forgot I was in free spool. <laughs> Good. So this is the game plan. One high, one low. This. <clears throat> we'll start with this side. from both axles because we don't know the approximate weight since the driver's not here we're gonna assume it's fully loaded and then it goes in between here for no damage Bam. all right Then I connect them with one of my wide body shackles. This one's the low, and then we do one up top for the high. And this is just to get it up to this ditch right here. Maybe the DJI can show up better, but... See how it goes up? Oh, you can see them there, repelling down. Brutal job.
Ah, oh, swing and a miss. I'll leave that in. Ah, oh, bad. All right, so I'm fully rigged, as you can see. I have to have the camera off. I just don't want to take any chances and risk uh, overheating on the recording equipment. All right. And we'll boom up and see what that does. I'm still in freeze pull, so I'm not going to do anything real, really. <clears throat> just got to make sure everything's angled right before the tension gets put on. But I need to uh, take off the free spool so I could adjust them. Looks like Alex is doing phenomenal. Ricardo is doing great. <clears throat> Dude, this is gonna be done quick. Okay. We're, we're already almost done with the hard part. Right? Hey, is this diesel? Oof. Just one hook over there, huh? One on top, one on the bottom. Just like Alex has it, just like I have it. One top, one bottom. Yeah, yeah that axle's completely off, dude. Yeah, I get, I get it from there. You're gonna have put to, the, uh. Get it put the frame behind the axle. You got it. <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, highly recommend checking out my playlist where I have nothing but these rollovers ah that guy ricardo right now who's relatively new he was in a recent video where a dump truck with a trailer crashed into a medical building he did phenomenal i'll go check out that video yeah, after this one of course bailey's blue those are 52,000 pounds each in a basket now of course uh this isn't a true basket configuration We have two of them on each end. Be more than fine in Ricardo assisting. Ricardo, you're gonna have to be boomed up very high. Well, I use a chain, a uh, half inch chain, 100 degrees on the top and the bottom behind the axle. Yeah, because that axle's floating. Yeah, it's just floating. to get more support, I get it behind with <clears> my two lines uh, with the snatch block to reduplicate the fork. You're, you're doing great. Let me just boom out. Yeah, just boom up. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me retract it and boom higher. All right, so what I do is I retract the boom. See it going in while I boom up at the same time. Retract it in a lot more. I gotta go up and in a lot. up there all right guys we're ready alex is gonna stay up top with ricardo now look at those lines Dude, this is crazy he's gonna stay up there with ricardo while i stay down here this is a wireless remote you can feel it you can feel the way here so far so good 
good. I'm loving it, man. Everyone's working in unison. There we go. That's what the white cable is doing now. The reason you got a high and the low is if you just pull with the low, it's gonna stay dragging on the bottom. And the white one will essentially wanna flip it over so it keeps the, the roof. See how there, there's air right there? See how there's, there's a gap right there? Ugh. That's what the white cable does. And then the blue one will pull it both of them on different amounts of tension and keep it at this angle the whole way up. It'll help protect from ripping this open as well. See how well widescreen does for this. So far, this is coming out awesome. There, boys. All right, let's hold it there. This is just one of Alex's lines. Go in on the load cell line. Look how fast these numbers jump. Twenty-two thousand. From ten thousand to twenty-two thousand in a second, easily. That's why you always, always, always over over rig. Okay, you guys are good there. Hold it. Good job, guys. Just trying to break the hell. Ah! And of course, 
cars. Now that we got it over the hill, that diesel tank that was spilled everywhere, it's spilling out the rest of it. How do they even clean that up? All right, good. Now that they got it over there, let's go with Hulk and get my end. might hop a little bit when it clears that little ledge. Fully expecting that. Amazing, man. I'm going more in with the top line to keep the, the trailer wall from dragging. I don't want to rip this at all. Alex, we got gap. We can throw in our straps now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's do that. Let me get my recovery straps and we'll rig one at a time. Hey, Alex, so my plan, because since there's gap right there, I was going to throw the straps now. Let's just bring it up here and do it here. Okay. Let's keep bringing it up? Yeah, let's bring it up. I'll do it like I did my, exactly like the Prime Wink one. That same amount of gap is going to exist right here. Okay. I'd rather do it when it's well within our, you know, our super strength, uh, strong working low limit area. Oh shoot. I turned around, I thought someone was next to me. Oh. <laughs> Caltrans. <laughs> what are you doing here, homie? There's no place for by bystanders. Yeah, we'll bring it all the way up here. We, we had to stand by because uh, that thing, they thought it leaked out everything when it, it crashed right there where that wet spot in the beginning was, but as you can see, it's like a racehorse, man. It doesn't stop coming out. Dude, did this guy have 500 gallon tanks? How was that possible? Bro, whenever you're ready, we're gonna continue bringing it up right here. That way we get it off this ditch. Ready? Okay, Ricardo. Try to go in with the bottom one more, okay? Huh? The bottom one more. Okay. That's going to be the hard one. And then just keep tension on the top. Yeah, slightly. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's let Ricardo... Uh... Go. Up. Bottom, bottom. Oh, we're moving earth. You're fine.
Whatever you do, do not stop, Ricardo. Let the rotators do the heavy part. Stay right there. Let out on your tension a little bit. <clears throat> hold it, hold it. All right, go in with the top cable only. The top? Top cable only, please. Keep going. Okay, hold it. Now going with the bottom only. It, it'll it'll break. Okay. Keep going. Hold it. I got an idea. Let out on everything. Everything. Let out. You're gonna need a lot of slack for the, uh, a lot of slack for this part. Both cables. A lot of slack. Instead of re-rigging, put a lot of slack on that one too. That one? Yeah, a lot of slack. So cable out. Stop. I got you. What you're gonna do, since you're fully boomed in, is I'm gonna extend out the boom all the way. Extend out the boom? Yeah. Can you extend it out? All the way. See, the thing is, because your boom is fully retracted, your line of action, you don't have a rotator, it's gonna fight you here. All the way. It should help a lot. Now boom up. You need a lot of height for this part. There, now go in with the cables. Try to go in with the uh, both of them. Okay, Alex. Yeah. Perfect. It's not the craziest trick in the book, but it helped. Battery cables. See all the, the fuses, all the electrical there? Combined with the heat and all the diesel that went everywhere? I mean, you can see all the exposed wires. Get a, get a fire extinguisher, Alex. Grab one from any of the trucks. I don't want it to catch. Battery cables? Yeah, no, 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 not even the battery. You know what, I think it is a battery. Battery cable, 
right, good job. Hopefully we can disconnect that once we get closer. It was way too dangerous to do it now. Uh, I'm gonna stand on my end, okay? You gonna what? Stand on my end. Almost at the top. Oh, that tractor's still giving us issues. It looks like it got caught. To do this method, Alex, we should have parked further away. Let's get the, look, this is gonna be two steps, easy. We'll do the rigging first, right? We're gonna rig everything and then leave it as is. Then I'm gonna disconnect and push my truck over, reconnect. You disconnect, push your truck over, reconnect. I can control the tractor with one of my auxiliaries. I just, I'll just connect to the top sheave and then, and then uh, equalize it. <clears throat> How many 30s you got? 30s? Do you, you have your, you have yours up top. They're up top. Four, then. Use your, do you have your reach stick? Yeah. 
throw it down to me and you and Ricardo start feeding the straps in. We'll do um We'll do four of them, we'll Christmas wrap it. I don't like that. Oh wait, we're gonna bring it up and then over? We're gonna flip it in midair. That won't work with the Christmas wrap. Does it look bowed out at the bottom? Go in with the top cable more. Throw them down. We're gonna do two. One on the DOT bumper, one on the front axle. The in the axle. Sweet. I am down here. Sweet. I am down here. And don't worry, if anything snaps, I'm well out of the way of danger. You can't really tell from here, but um, there's a gap. That's what we wanted. They're gonna throw down the straps and I'm gonna pull them with the reach stick. And we're gonna re-rig. We're gonna do a mid-air roll on this thing. Lift it straight up and flip it and put it on the inside of that guardrail. <clears throat> We're gonna do it all connected, tractor and trailer. So we got fire here as protocol. We're just on standby until they give us the green light. We're gonna just hold the entire thing down. Sparks at the bottom, left, right, everywhere. High heat, diesel everywhere, oil everywhere. It's just a recipe for a disaster. But once that happens, and they give us the green light, we'll mid or roll this baby. All right, well, fire department ain't leaving. They're just gonna be on standby just in case. So they let us continue rigging. And don't worry, I got the front of this held up with the other line from Hulk. We got three lines from Big Flipper plus Ricardo's truck, so. <clears throat> and now this one. All right, good. It cleared. Perfect. We need this day. I'm blurring to the top with the protection on the top. Oh. Oh, bottom. bottom one only. All right, yeah, now we do my uh, catch. All right, guys, so we are fully rigged with Hulk. This is gonna be crazy. So the firemen are still here. Now, one good thing about them coming, besides being here for safety, is they took another lane right here to park their truck up ahead. So I'll use it to my advantage. I scooted my truck over a little bit. They give me ample room to put this thing here, and Alex is gonna do the same while I hold it. In about 10 minutes he'll be rigged up and it's flip time all right so while alex moves his truck over i got it safely here and i got the angle iron but check this out to do a test watch it lift up it's mine now and this is just with hulk alone look at that now the reason we're not doing a christmas wrap like one of my more recent videos uh, is because if this trailer wall held from all the way down there to here and while airborne to do the pre-pick and all that if you get our straps under it held through all that it's gonna hold through this this is a very strong trailer it's not like a weak dry van so it's gonna do what we wanted to do very well like I said, what we're gonna do really quick it's Ricardo's truck, 
is an absolutely great tower and a fast recovery learner. But his uh, assigned truck, Unit 90, incredibly nimble. Post tractor trailers, dump trucks, anything all day. But recovery wise, it's limited. That's fully extended. So, what I'm gonna have him do, he's gonna cable in and get it right here on the concrete part. And then he's gonna freeze pull and go forward. We want it so by the time this thing comes over, uh, it'll be on the inside of the guardrail. At this angle, I don't think this is gonna allow him, so we're gonna bring it up. Alex is rigged, I'm rigged. We're just gonna wait on this part. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Ricardo, go in with the cables and get it right here. Let him go first. There you go, you're doing good. <clears throat> Keep going. Beautiful, beautiful. This is looking so good. Okay, Ricardo, let out with your cables and see what that does. Let out with the cables and see what that does, please. You know what, man? You're good right there. Are you fully extended? Are you fully extended? No, you're good. You did great. You're good. You ready, Alex? Ricardo's ready. I'm ready. As I say, the moment of truth. Ready? On three, two, one. Up. No, cables in only, Ricardo. Cables in? Yeah, the red one. You gotta follow us. Keep going, Ricardo. Red one only. Only your red. Yeah, this is insane, dude. Hold on. Let's let let's let Ricardo catch up. Cable only red. I want that front clear. Keep going. Not yet. I'll tell you when. Now boom up. Now boom up. Oh, absolutely beautiful, Ricardo. Now let us catch up, okay? Yeah, and tighten up with the other. Tighten up with the other one. Uh, I know what the flu. You're doing good. Just keep tension on it, and let's let's let the rotators catch up. Alex, boom up only. Just leave it right there, Ricardo. You don't have to do anything.
Catch up with me. Oh, the axle fell, duh. No, that's fine, that, that thing was already off. Okay, Ricardo, boom up slowly. Hold on, Alex. Okay, boom up. Yeah, that axle's junk. In fact, we could cut it right now. Okay, keep booming up, keep booming up, yeah. That way that axle can get exposed and we can see where we need to cut it from. It's already off. Yeah, it's already, it's already Hold on. It's just locked. That's the second time that's happened to me in the past two months. The cable. All right, guys. You know what? Let me stand by. Uh, let me close my door. Hold it. You guys ready? Yeah. Boom up. I'm already yeah. Okay, All right, let's start flipping it. Right there? Yeah, start flipping it right here. Just, you don't do anything yet. Ricardo, let out with the red slowly. Out? Yes, with the red only. My goodness, there's more diesel. You're good, don't stop. I know, I know. Boom up, Ricardo. It's a mangled mess. It's going to make noise and creak. There, hold it. Red out. Red out, sir. Blue in, too. Yeah, blue in. Alex, go in with both your cables at the same time. So you could retract. Hold it there, Ricardo. Boom up. Yeah. We got to get this thing over. I'm going to let Alex catch up and then I'll continue. Cables in, retract. Cables in, retract. Slow and easy process, okay? We'll go until you're almost maxed out of your red. I mean, your green. Almost there. Let me get the fire department, let them know that this thing is leaking, see what they want to do. 
All right, fire department's gonna throw absorbent on this. They want dirt here first, so we'll just hold it. You know, in hindsight, we should have parked you further, especially because you got the, the longer boom and Hulk can go up right higher, there. but we'll be fine. In fact, well, yeah, to put sand. While they do that, keep retracting in and going in with the cables. I'm already tapped out. No, I know. Yeah, I know. But tap out fully, then retract in, then tap out, then retract. Look, here they come right here. Oh, they're behind me. Yeah, of course. But just on this side right here, there's a storm drain you can see. We're very cautious about that going, even though we got wood and it's, you know, we got a little barrier. Protocol is protocol. Oof. Look at that. Go for it. I'm gonna make this easier for Alex. Alex, I'm gonna make this easier for you. Hold on. Ricardo, let out with your red only. We're gonna help Alex. My God, this is so beautiful. Walk to my side, Hold just down. no, not yet. When you're ready, though, you're gonna retract in, you're gonna boom in. Let me walk to my side. All right, we're gonna rotate back to help out Alex. Once they got it fully in on this side, 
This is gonna be so cool. What I'm gonna do is have Alex uh, hold it so I can, I'm gonna just keep it there so it doesn't land on my outrigger. Drop it fully, bro. I'll worry about my side right now. We got the hard part done. Good job, Ricardo. Hey, that one is a bad one. The bottom. Yeah, we'll mess with that right now. Whoa. Look at that, guys. Right, so what I'm going to do instead is since Alex and all of them have mad tension, I'm going to just retract that outrigger. While keeping the back one. While keeping the back one fully down. And a little light pack. Check this out. Outriggers out. Now what I can do? Uh, let out with that white cable. Come on. Tell me I got it just perfect. Man, I could not get closer if I tried. Junk out of the way. Where could we possibly put this? On the catwalk. What do you want it? That's a great question I was just talking to myself about. Uh, we'll just get it out of the way for now. Let's worry about hooking up the tractor trailer. I have to get you cables. You guys have to move it. And so I wanted two hours flat with this thing. Not possible. A lot of the standby time was just waiting on fire. But whatever. Great job, Ricardo got this out of the way. I passed my graduation day. You graduated with fine colors, sir. We've seen a lot more of him. Fire's out of here, everyone's out of here, they're all happy. They didn't think we would put it within the, the shoulder right here where that white line is. And that guardrail. To perfection. So Ricardo's just gonna go forward, straighten out, do a recovery toe. We're gonna lift this off the freeway and then decide how to throw it back to the yard. Uh, I am beat, dehydrated, so I'm gonna put this camera away to put away my truck. Alright, just because I put the iPhone down, a lot of guys like to watch uh, start to end, so I got the DJI Action 4 on. Just to show you guys us putting away the trucks. By the way, look at this. My Bailey's blue sleeve. If you pay attention in the video, this that took virtually no damage would have been the strap. And while this is a platinum sling, which is incredibly strong, you don't want any tears in this. Oh, nothing like having all the right equipment. And these twist lock shackles like what i just did i'm able to just stick my hand in there and use force to push and twist with the twist lock shackles they're difficult they can get jammed a lot i have a ton but 
These babies are awesome. 36,000 pounds working load limit. Uh, and these blue sleeves come off like this. Look. Nice. Most people you see down there, you guys think these rotators are expensive? Try paying a hazmat environmental cleanup bill. You're in for a world of hurt with one of those. I'll sign the 180s whenever you're ready. For sure, I still kind of got to go and do Oh, take your time. It's going to take a minute to. For sure, thank you. If you want to check the back, it's got seals, so you, we would have to cut them. I'm not sure if you even care. Um, they, they only do this when it's loaded. Yeah, we're going to have to do the whole inventory. I figured, because it's a 180. I'll yeah. cut these for you. Please? Yes, no problem. <sighs> Someone's in trouble. Where are my wire cutters? Thanks, man. No problem. You know what? These are just regular zip ties. At a far glance, I thought they were seals. Um, so Caltrans is on site for the cleanup. I'm wondering if I could use the rotator for that, that bumper part. You know, it's, you could tell it's getting fall because it's only six, 640 right now and it's getting dark. I'll figure that part out. Same thing with that stupid axle. Maybe I'll put on my underlift. Let's finish putting Hulk away. You got a flashlight? Yeah. Because all the pallets in there, they got the, the descriptions on them. Okay. Uh, what should we do with this? 10-4. Are we just going to do an inventory and all the cargo? Make sure that all the pallets match up on the bill of lading and whatnot. Ooh, it's a nice truck. It's funny, all these people passing by right now, mad that they're in traffic. I wonder how many of them see the finished product of this and get mad and while we're blocking a lane for just this. Not knowing that it was like 75 feet over this guardrail. In fact, I haven't shown you guys really. Well, I finished putting this away. All of this guardrail, this guy took out from where behind those Caltrans workers are standing. Swack. Very nice, Ricardo. You got it dead on. So 
Well, as you guys can see, the rotators are put away. And look, that cop was nice enough to give us, stay this, uh, this extra lane, even though the fire department left. We didn't need it, but hey, we don't often get lane closures. So I'll run with it. That was cool to have, just for the peace of mind. Ricardo's doing a Frankenstein tow. Go underneath the frame out, and then you use your uh, chain fork receivers. You're gonna put the pin on the inside so they don't slide, keeps it nice and tight. That bitch should be here right now for this and the hood, which is just on the front part of here. But my services are no longer required for that part. I'm gonna take off because the guy's got uh, my dad a big stolen warehouse job, so I always gotta have someone to cover the area. Do a final walk around and make sure I didn't leave any of my chains. Oh my god. This is why you do a final walk around. Look what I just found. A chain. And you know what? I remember this. This is the one where I took off the, the, the shackle first and they're showing it off. I got pinched. Oh, you're still in there? Yeah. I just did a final walk around just because force of habit and I seen this. Oh, Would have left that. A five eight inch one too. It's coming out of your check, Josh. <laughs> We're just imitating my dad. Now we got everything. Yeah. That's it. Sign these off, I'm signing those, man. What a job. <laughs> How's the driver? He was okay, minor injuries. Yeah. So this is the one for the trailer. <sighs> Thanks, Appreciate man. you guys, man. Thank you for that extra lane, too. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, it's pitch black now. Yeah. We're ready. After the load was accounted for, I don't have seals, but they wrote this. What are pellets? They do the inventory on these paperwork, and even though there's no seal on these, that's how they keep track of what's in there. Woo! Guys, I can't even do a proper woo. My voice is gone, all the dirt. I'm gonna do a checkup on Ricardo, and he's got it pretty much good. We're out of here, man. Very good, I like it. Cause it's not wish-washy, it's dead even. Just run the airline to the back and we're out of here. You guys got the gist of it. I'm tired. Peace out, man. Let me know what you guys think of all that Apple Log iPhone footage too. All right, change of plans, no more peace out. The flatbed is busy. That warehouse job is gonna take a lot of manpower, so I have no extra resources for it. So I'm bringing up the, the hood and the axle myself. I've got it floating right here, chilling. As soon as Ricardo pulls forward, we're gonna have their space in the back just to put this. And for the hood, we're gonna put it right on here, which is fiberglass, so a couple of shafts will hold it. Alex took off the drive shaft. Cannot believe we forgot that, man. And the big commotion of uh, this job and everything. That's something we forgot. The guy shot off, airline ran, safety chains.
stack, like, you know, double stacked and high, it's packed tight. Doesn't give it too much room. Uh, a load shift. Open up the doors, Alex. Uh... All right, hold on. Oh yeah, I got plenty of room right here. Ricardo, huh? how's it feel? Feel amazing, you know, a lot of job. It's not the easy one we're thinking, but I meant the toe, it's like excited. It heavy. Now I am a really heavy toe guy, toe guy. Yes, you are. Can you help Alex with the quick? Now I'm gonna be in the VIP room, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, with the load, it might not fit. Is it gonna fit? in there too, on top of the axle. I don't have the DJ on my neck, I'm doing handheld. And these things are filthy. I don't like touching the string and the buttons with those, but we, we are done. You guys see Ricardo the full forward freely. Drive shaft out, airlines, full hookup, everything's put away. We picked up the stuff off the side, I'll tell you doing the small pieces and uh, the green. But we are out of here, man. Again, peace out, y'all. Throw me some love in the comments if you guys like this one. Okay, I lied about being done. We forgot the drive shaft, which is something we always do when it's upside down or on the side. So Alex is about done with that. And they got busy with that warehouse job I was talking about. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use Hulk to pick up the pieces. I'm gonna lift this up first. And as Ricardo pulls forward, we'll open up the rear and there's space and just drop that in the back. The hood is even easier. It's all fiberglass. We can kind of set it back on here. These two straps find it really good. So yeah, uh, this Apple Log Pro Rest stuff takes up horrible amount of space and even though I got the terabyte phone I'm putting a ton of uh, space on here so I'm going to cut the video just to show you guys uh, the actual ending peace out y'all alright <laughs> so peace out y'all hopefully this footage comes out good and it's worth it because man it's taking up space like 